Coach, four straight wins, two wins on the road against ranked teams in tough environments, two last-second wins. You know, talk about this last weekend. Uh, the weekend was great. I, I thought uh, it was a great carryover from the weekend before, dealing with conditions, dealing with the travel, um, dealing with good opponents in this league. Um, so I, I thought the team played with the right emotion, uh, right energy. Um, it's it's a time of year where you're just finding a way, and it's not always pretty. And neither game was, were the prettiest of games, but we found a way, which is is fantastic. And it really speaks to the toughness of this team. I mean, you, you look at the injuries you've had to deal with, a losing streak at home. You have four tough road matches, and you win them all. That has to make you pretty happy. Yeah, we uh, we've talked all year about competing with the right right uh, emotion and and doing it for 90 minutes and being consistent. Um, and these last four games, we just talked about um, that being our only focus. You know, as much as the soccer we wanted to look great and be great, um, we we had to match the intensity. And and uh, I thought we did a, a fantastic job of that this weekend. And you talk about matching intensity. That's going to be all the more important at home Friday against UCLA at the Coliseum. Yeah, what better way to, to end your regular season? Uh, it's the number one team in the country who's on an unbelievable stretch of, of uh, results. Um, you've got Senior Day, you've got the Coliseum, um, you've got the fan base of LA brought together in, under you know one venue. Uh, it's going to be an awesome night. Um, our, our goal is to go out um, and just, just play. Just enjoy the game, enjoy the environment. Uh, it's one of those rare moments that you get to have as a student athlete. So um, it's going to be a great game. What do you have to do to get the result against this awesome Bruins team? Well, they've got so many weapons. Um, it's going to be a game where we can't turn off. We've got to be locked in. Um, we've got to be focused. It's, we're we're going to have to understand they're going to have the ball for stretches. And, and then when we get it, we're going to have to be disciplined with what we do with it. So um, really, it's about our details in defending, details in attacking, and, and being on for 90 minutes. Going back real quick to last weekend, you used to coach at Washington State. You get that last second result in Pullman. What are some of the motions going through you there? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of that group up there and, and the work that they've done this year um, to position themselves to accomplish the goals that they have set. So uh, let me say that first. Um, but going up there with our team, uh, playing to get into the NCAAs for the first time in a while um, against a team that, that's been there and, and, and done it, um, I was really proud of this group's uh, ability to go in there and play. Um, at the same time, being, being a coach that, that loves the women in the other locker room just as much, um, I felt for them. You know, it was an emotional game. Uh, great game. Both teams played well, and, and um, I wish them the best, but it was, it was a great win for us. Last question. Do you feel like, are you happy with where this team's at? Do you feel like you've done enough to make it to the tournament? I am happy with, with what we've done. Um, we, we've challenged them to grow every week. We've challenged them to, to learn how to compete with the, at the right level, to play better soccer, even when it's ugly, uh, find a way. And uh, I think we're, we've done that at the right time. This road stand is, has shown that. And I think, uh, I think when it comes down to it, I, I, I'd like to think our name will be called. But at the end of the day, it's, it's about doing the work on the field and, and then leaving it to the committee to decide.